Well, very much so, because uh, the climate solutions that we're looking for, many of them will have to happen in the landscape, dealing, for example, with the food systems or reducing deforestation, restoring degraded lands. So many of these benefits will have to happen in landscapes. And by doing this right, and by meeting all those other values in the landscape, we can come to a situation where the climate benefits are actually co-benefits of sustainable landscapes. I think the COP negotiations are, are going well uh, under the circumstances. Um, it is a big job to get the Paris Agreement into implementation and into action. I think that the Global Landscapes Forum provides one avenue where we can reach some of the ambitions that are expressed in the Paris Agreement. We want to launch the new phase of the Global Landscapes Forum where we will uh, scale up and reach out and uh, in the next five years we hope to reach a billion people to be engaged and uh, learn from the landscape approaches to figure out solutions that are good for them in their landscapes. The main part is to be serious about having the stakeholders in landscapes engaged on their own terms, on, with their own priorities, and uh, try to avoid having an expert top-down approach as we are trying to scale up the landscape approach.